Welcome back to Educare.com. We're going to look at a few more examples on finding the confidence interval for the slope of a least squares regression line. So here we have sales of 15 single family homes that was collected. The space X is in thousands of square feet and price Y in thousands of dollars. And they're measured on 15 homes. We want to find a 99% confidence interval for beta. So alpha equals 0.01. For a confidence interval, we're interested in alpha over 2, which is 0 0.005. n equals 15. All right, let's start summing these values. Summation of x, if I add up all those x values, I get 22.358. Summation x squared, if I square each one of those and add them, I get 35.358. 22508. Summation y, if I add up all my y values, I get 554.18. If I square each one of those and add them, I get 22802. And sometimes, well, we're going to need our summation xy, the cross product, is going to be 888.44. All right, so if I calculate ssxy, the sums of squares of that cross product, I get 62.4. 6609. If I have sums of squares of the x's, that actually gives me 1.899732. If I divide those two, it gives me my b, and my b is 32.8788. Another value I could calculate, my sums of squares of my y's, my ssyy, and that gives me 2320.214. After all that, we can calculate s of e. So this is going to be the square root of 2320.214. Thirty-two That's my B. And then we're multiplying that times my SSXY, my 62.4609. I'm dividing this by N minus 2, which is 13. So we get for SE approximately 4.5283. For the confidence interval, I want t a 0 0.005 with 13 degrees of freedom. This gives me 3.012. So now I could do my confidence interval. I'm taking b, which is 32.8788 plus or minus 3.012 times that 4.5283 over the square root of SSXX, that 1.899732. This gives me 32.8788 plus or minus 9.896605. Subtracting that from B and adding it to B gives me my confidence interval. So the lower limit. 22.98219, and my upper limit is 42.7741.